All right, welcome back. So in this video, I want to go over templates, right? So we set up the online store, we we created our account, um, we kind of went through the dashboard and how all this stuff works. Um, this is all the back end, right? So this is everything that you see as a store owner and whatever your staff um, is, you guys see all this, right? But what about the stuff that your customers see, right? What about the front end templates of what they see when they go to your website? So right here, we have sales channels. Um, and the cool thing about sales channel is what it allows you to do is create different stuff. So say if you want to create a sales channel on Facebook, so this allows you to integrate your products on Facebook. Um, if you want to do something for Instagram, if you want to do something for Amazon, eBay, uh, a, a custom buy button, all these different sales channels that you're able to kind of like integrate. But for this uh, course, we're going to focus on the actual main one, your URL. When they go to your URL, what do they see? So we're going to click online store. Now, in online store, we have a couple different options. So we'll start from the bottom. So we have preferences. So this is what you will see right here on the homepage title. So let's just put um, Curio Media My Store. Let's just do Curio Media if I could spell. There we go. Um, you can do a description. This is a test store. You could do Google Analytics. You could upgrade and um, update your Facebook pixel. We'll go over that stuff uh, a little later. So this is this is something right here um, that's kind of interesting. So you go into online store and preferences. Remember, we're still on the free trial, right? We have not bought or purchased an actual plan. So your store is going to come with a password uh, lock on there that you can't get in without this password. So they create some random password for you. So you're able to, when you go to your store and you go to your URL, you're going to have to enter this password in order for um, people to see your actual site. So just make sure that when you go to your site, you'll see, please enter password. This is how you find the password. It's in online store and then preferences. So once you select a plan, you can uncheck this and people can just go straight to your store. So after we got um, your, your homepage title um, and whatever the description is, go ahead and save that. Uh, then we're going to go to domains. So if you already have a domain, so what's going to happen is, as you can see right here, it put curio.myshopify.com. So whatever the name of your store, it's going to be your store name dot myshopify.com. So say if you have an existing domain, so say if your store is um, the blue blend the blue banana two, right? Um, what you're going to do is you want to connect your existing domain. So you're going to want to go to your store, find the blue banana two under your GoDaddy or Bluehost account or whatever it is that you have. And then you want to connect that. If you want to transfer it, you can transfer it as well. Um, but if you don't have a domain, they actually allow you to buy it within Shopify, which is pretty cool. So you could type in the blue. Let's just see. the blue shop. So you can see right here, okay, it's unavailable. So to show you what's available and what's not, and then it'll give you some suggestions, right? Um, so the blue shop 2018. And then what it'll do is it'll search for it to see if it's available. And then if it's available, it'll allow you to purchase it right here. And it's only $14 a year. So you get a custom domain with your store for only $14 a year, super inexpensive, a really cool thing. So that way, what's going to happen is it won't be um, your shop dot my shopify.com. It'll just be your shop. So it'll be the blue shop 2018.com. So that URL will go straight to your store. So that's just something cool to uh, to kind of take into account. Navigation. So this is where you add your menus. Um, so you have your main menu, catalog, footer. So you can add different menus here um, and you can put a title and then you can add what is going to be on your menu and what is going to be on the navigation. You have pages here as well. So you can create pages. So if you want to do a blog post or if you want to do different type of pages, you could do the title, you could do the layout of what the content is that you want on the page there. For blog posts, um, it's a way to allow you to actually create blog posts on your um, your shop. So you could do the featured image, you could put in whatever it is that you want here, um, and you could put the title, customize everything, and then you save that, and it will be posted to your blog section. So now the 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 main kind of part of what everybody sees and kind of where to put everything together is here under themes. So right here you'll see your current theme. 
right? And it'll come with a stock theme and it'll show you what it looks like on desktop and it shows you what it looks like on mobile. You go here and you click actions and then go to preview. It'll open up a new tab and as you can see right here, this is a layout of what your store would look like. Of course, we're gonna start filling in and putting all these images in and we could rearrange stuff, but this is the stock theme that they give you. When you click on catalog, it allows you to see all the catalog items here. If you shrink it down to go for mobile, this is what it will appear like on mobile. So you can see all of the details and all of the products there. So what we're gonna do is, this is a cool template. I mean, it's very basic, it's very um, straightforward and straight to the point. But if you wanna customize this template and take a look at what these different things look like, they have some cool things right here. So you have free themes and then you have Shopify theme store. So what this allows you to do is Shopify provides you with free themes that you can actually customize and see what it looks like in real time and see what you like and upload it to your account. Or you can actually purchase um, themes. They have different ones. So for, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna click on the view theme store because we can see what the free ones look like and then what also the paid ones look like. So this is kind of like how it works, right? So you have different collections of the different type of um, themes that you have. You have different industries based on the different industry that you're in. And then you have all themes, right? So we're just gonna click on all themes. They have a little tab right here that you can see by how many, how many are free, how many are paid. Um, and then you can take a look at the, all the themes to see what they have. So this is not only just made for t-shirts or clothing, as you can see, this one right here shows you what it looks like for, um, you know, different travel bags and stuff like that. So you can see the different styles that are included. So this is $180 for this theme. This is the different colors. So you have this theme, you have this one, and then you have this one. So it gives you like three different layouts for the price of this 180. It has the theme features here of what's included. All themes in the store also include all of these free templates, um, stores using Prestige. So you can see the different stores that have used and utilized these themes to make whatever it is that they look like. So if you click on one of them, you can take a look at what it looks like. So this one is in a different country. So we're just gonna put translate on. Um, and you can see, I mean, this is a theme for, you know, $180. Of course, granted, I mean, you they have these high quality pictures and images, but as you can see, it looks very, very, very professional. All the images coming in, um, all the movement in the images, the images coming in here, you can add video. Um, you can see what the lookbooks looks like. Uh, you can see the different products. You can see the different blog stuff right here. So it has follow us on Instagram and then what you can do right here is click on this um, and you can see the different categories. So if you click on shoes, this is what it looks like. You could click on that. It gives a description of what it is, how much they cost, and then it shows you the size. It shows you the different colors. It shows you the shipping methods and then it has the buy now. So if you want to add these to cart, these are some expensive shoes and then you go check out. all this stuff is done for you. Like all this stuff is done for you in that template. So it's super, super helpful. Um, it's gonna show you how to break everything down. So as you want, just go ahead and browse these different themes um, and take a look at what it is that you like, um, see what you know kind of fits your style. I always like to do kind of like the simple theme because it's very, you can view demo here. It's very straightforward, um, kind of straight to the point. It looks really good on mobile and it looks really good on desktop. And then you can organize your um, different images here, especially if you don't have like a lot of banner images to start with, this is a great theme to start. So for the sake of this demonstration, let's say that we want to choose this theme. You go up here to the button and click add theme. And then what it'll do is it will connect to your store and it adds this theme to directly to your Shopify store. So after it's added, it will come back over here and you will see that it is added to your store. So this is the main theme and this is the current theme that we have, right? So all the themes that you add is down here at the bottom. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to publish this theme. So when you go down here, you click publish and then you go publish. And then now what it's gonna do is you can see that old theme is down here at the bottom and the new theme is here. So when you click action, 
and preview. Now, as you can see, this is the blank site and the skeleton of what it looks like. So you can see the catalog and then you can input here and change all of the products here. So what you want to do to customize this actual store is you're going to click on the button right here that says customize. <clears throat> and then when you customize, it pulls it over into a browser so you can see exactly what it is that you're customizing. So you could click on the header selection and then you can upload a logo here. So let's just say, um, logos, and then you upload the logo and then it's going to automatically update here and then you click select. So now you've uploaded your logo. Um, and then if you want to go back to, um, the sidebar that shows you the main menu and you can change the main menu of what it looks like and what is added. So all these different settings just allow you to be able to completely customize exactly what it is that you're looking for. Um, so for the home page, you can do selected rows of three, you can do of two, um, however, whatever your preference is as far as for the featured images. Uh, and then they have stuff where you can customize here for um, the footer. You can change and you can edit this menu. You have the links and everything from there. So it just gives you the flexibility to be able to plug and place everything like that. This is not the place that you upload products. This is just the aesthetics of your site and what it looks like. So you have theme settings so you can change the colors. If you want to change the text to red, you can do the you could do red. If you want to change it to pink or purple, you can do pink. You can do whatever colors it is that you want. You could type in custom hex codes right here to give you a specific color that you have. Um, you can also change the background to whatever it is that you want. I mean, you could get real crazy with how you can kind of customize and do um, the backgrounds, the borders, the fields, um, just completely customize it and make sure it looks like your site. Here you can see what it looks like on mobile. Um, and then this allows you to stretch all the way across and it, it gets rid of this menu. Um, so it gives you a good kind of representation of exactly what your site will look like as you start building it out and when people are uh, visiting. Once you get everything the way that you want it, you go ahead and click save and then it will automatically update the theme um, for you. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of that. Um, and that is how you set up themes. That's how you create themes. That's how you find themes within the theme store and Shopify. You can, like, I think the most expensive one is that $180 one. So it's not anything too crazy. I mean, back in the day, you used to have to hire a really expensive web developer to kind of piece all this stuff together. But now, you know, nowadays with how everything is set up with technology, just utilize technology and make sure that you um, are spending your money wisely. So the next thing we are going to go over is drop shipping. So how do you get your products made and where to get them made? How do you integrate it with your store? Um, how do you ship it out to your customers? How do you get ready to set this store up live so you can actually have people come to your site and place orders and start selling and start building your product base and customer base? And that is what we are going to start covering in the next section. So I will see you on the next video. Peace.